All right, good morning, everybody. Hello, I'm sorry I am a couple minutes late. I had some technical difficulties. My phone did not want to connect and show a picture, and that wouldn't be very good for story time. So, welcome everybody, I'm Miss Emily. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm not usually around on Thursday mornings. Um, I do circle time usually on Tuesdays, but I got a special treat this week and I got to come and see you guys and do it on Thursday today. So what I'm going to do is I have two fun books we're going to read. I have a song that we're going to sing. Um, I have a little um, rhyme that we're going to do, and then I want to show you a really fun craft. And actually, we might have a guest, huh? <laughs> this is my cat, Remy. He likes to do circle times. All my cats sometimes show up in circle time. I'll show you his stripey tail. So good morning. I'm just going to hang for a second to see if anybody comes. I got messages popping up on my screen. But good morning, everybody. <laughs> well, you can see my kitty is his tail. My kitty is so silly. You know what? He thinks it's nap time. He really wants to curl up in my nap in my lap and take a nap. Um, but we're not gonna be able to do that. We're gonna have to read some stories, Remy. Here, let me see if I can. See, there is his face. There's my rims. All right. Just hanging out for a second. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to circle time. Everybody likes my circle time so much, even the kitties are showing up, huh? You're going to have to get down, sir. I can't read a book with a Remy in my lap. He's such a goofball. All right, so are you guys ready to get started? For those of you who just joined in, I'm Miss Emily. Uh, I'm one of the children's librarians at the library. Usually I do circle time on Tuesdays. But you guys are getting extra lucky, and I'm getting extra lucky. I get to do it today. So, all right, let's get rid of Remy, and let's get started. So, why don't we start off with a book, and I'm going to scooch over so we can make sure we see the book. So, the book I'm going to read today is called Hide and Sheep by Andrea Beattie and Bill Mayer. Look at those sheep all dressed up. They look pretty goofy. So... Hide and Sheep by Andrea Betty and illustrations by Bill Mayer. Oh my goodness, he's asleep in his bed. Wake up, wake up, Farmer McFit. You've got sheep to shear and clothes to knit. Your sheep have grown, grown restless. They're jumping the gate. Now wake up and find them before it's too late. Oh no, all of his sheep are escaping. They're jumping the gate. Ten frisky lambs run away to the zoo to meet an okapi, a kind kangaroo. A spotted giraffe with his head in the trees. They hang out and play with the wild chimpanzees. Can we find ten sheep in this picture, do you think? I see one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot of sheep at the zoo. Nine join the circus and dance with a bear. Get shot from a cannon and fly through the air. Like woolly white comets, they soar ever higher. They take one less bell from atop the high wire. That looks like a fun circus. Do we want to try and count sheep again? So we had nine sheep this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sheep. Play ball, cries the umpire as eight sheep trot in. They nibble the outfield and sheepishly grin. They know it's forbidden, but munch all the same. With three jumps, they're out of the old baseball game. So there's eight sheep here. Do you want to count eight sheep? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh, I missed one. Oh, eight. I missed the great big one right under my fingers. Silly me. Seven sly lambkins are eager to go. They sneak to the village to take in a show. Alone in the dark with their favorite flick, they gobble down popcorn until they feel sick. 
uh, would be a lot of popcorn. You think, can we count seven sheep in this picture? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Crazy looking sheep. Would you be fooled by a sheep that looked like that in the movie theater? I don't know. Six clever sheep in the new art museum. Some pose like a statue so no one will see them. Hoofs click on the marble, they dance and they play with Salvador Dali, Van Gogh, and Monet. So six sheep, do you think we can find six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five groovy lambs hit the beach for the day. With surfboard and snorkels, they're ready to play. They do the beach boogie and try to get tanned like all of the tourists asleep on the sand. All right, let's see. We have five sheep in this one, so let's see if we can find them. There's one. Oh, there he is. Two, three, four. Oh, there he is. This is getting harder and harder. There's number five. He's playing ball. That's five sheep. Four hungry ewes run off looking for snacks. They roam the library, inspecting the stacks. Novels and poetry, all of it free. They nosh and they nibble from A down to Z. Oh no, could you imagine that happening in our library? Ugh, oh, what a big mess. So we have four sheep to find. So one, two, three. Did you see this guy under the table? And then four, hanging out of the bookshelves. Three naughty sheep on a tour of the town stop by to visit with Fireman Brown. When the tour's over, those wicked lambs hide. They crank up the siren and go for a ride. Oh my goodness. They took over the fire truck. Can you find all three sheep? Let's see, there's one, two, and then way back here at the back is number three. Two silly brothers with nothing to do Find an old bicycle built just for two. They zoom down the sidewalk so fast and so free. Don't look where they're going and land in a tree. Oh no, you see the two brothers there on the bike? And then they're gonna land in a tree. One little lamb with its snow colored wool follows young Mary and heads into school. See the sheep there going to school? The farmer comes creeping, it's too late to run. Clip, clip, and snip. Now the shearing is done. Hip, hip, hooray for Farmer McFit. Your sheep are sheared, their clothes are knit. You've dressed your flock from toe to head. Now stop counting sheep. It's time for bed. The end. Look at all those crazy things that he knit for his sheep. Let's go back. There are all kinds of crazy hats. And I see some scarves, and look, there's some mittens in there. There's some mittens here and some mittens here. And a big old sweater. Look at that. Oh, he's a very talented knitter. Okay. So let's do a rhyme real quick. So do you guys know Little Bo Peep? So I have a picture here. This is going to be Little Bo Peep. And if you guys know the rhyme, you can say it with me. We're going to do it twice, okay? So Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. Oopsie. Let's try that again. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. But leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. She found her sheep. Want to do it again? Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. But leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. There we go. She found her sheep just like Farmer McFit. All right, why don't we go ahead and do a song now. And if you guys saw me on Tuesday a couple weeks ago, um, you might recognize the song. So if you do, I hope you'll sing it along with me. I thought it was a really fun and silly song. So I'm gonna do it again. Um, so this song is called Dancing Sheep. And we're gonna do it twice just so anybody who doesn't know it can learn the words, okay? So. Actually, it's more of a rhyme than a song, but we'll go. Shh, it's time to sleep. But my into my bedroom, one sheep creeps. Don't go to bed, the one sheep said. 
I would rather dance instead. Soon he was dancing on the ceiling, dancing on the floor, dancing on the window, dancing on the door. He kept on dancing on the ceiling, dancing on the floor, dancing on the window, dancing on the door. Stop that dancing, silly sheep. It's time to go to sleep. Soon the sheep lay on the floor. Soon the sheep began to snore. So I started dancing on the ceiling, dancing on the floor, dancing on the window, dancing on the door. What do you guys think? Is that a silly one? I'm going to do it one more time. So, shh, it's time to go to sleep. But into my bedroom, one sheep creeps. Don't go to bed, the one sheep said. I would rather dance instead. Soon he was, you guys know this part, dancing on the ceiling, dancing on the floor, dancing on the window, dancing on the door. And he kept on dancing on the ceiling, dancing on the floor, dancing on the window, dancing on the door. Stop that dancing, silly sheep. It's time to go to sleep. Soon the sheep lay on the floor. Soon the sheep began to snore. So I started dancing on the ceiling, dancing on the floor, dancing on the window, dancing on the door. That's fun. I like that one so much. It's so silly. And you might have seen another tail go by. That's my other cat, Cora. She's probably not going to show you her face. She's being a little bit shy, but she likes to come and listen to story time too. Okay. So since she's here and she's ready to listen, hello, we're going to read another book. And this book is called, Where is the Green Sheep? Have you ever seen a green sheep? Well, what colors are the sheep on the, on the front here? They're yellow and orange and red. I've never seen yellow, orange and red sheep before. How silly. Let's find out. So this is, Where is the Green Sheep? by Mem Fox and Judy Hor Oops, sorry, Horasek. Oh, there goes Cora. She decided she doesn't want to find out where the green sheep is. So, here is the blue sheep, and here is the red sheep, here is the bath sheep, and here is the bed sheep. But where is the green sheep? I don't know, I don't see him there. Here is the thin sheep. Here is the wide sheep. Here is the swing sheep. Here is the slide sheep. But where is the green sheep? Well, I don't see him there either. Here is the up sheep. Here is the down sheep. Here is the band sheep. Look at him playing all those instruments all at the same time. What a talented sheep. And here is the clown sheep. Look at him juggling and doing a skateboard and balancing one on his nose. But where is the green sheep? I still don't see any green sheep. Here is the sun sheep. Here is the rain sheep. Here is the car sheep. And there is the train sheep. Can you guys see the sheep right up there in the train? But where is the green sheep? Do you guys see a green sheep anywhere? Still no green sheep. Here is the wind sheep. Here is the wave sheep. Here is the scared sheep. Here is the brave sheep. Oh my goodness, that's a big jump. But where is the green sheep? Still no sign of him. Here is the near sheep. He's very close. Here is the far sheep. See the sheep way far away. Here is the moon sheep. Look at that crazy sheep on the moon. Here is the star sheep. But where is the green sheep? So there's all kinds of sheep in this picture. Do you see a green sheep anywhere? I see a flying sheep and a dancing sheep and sheep having tea and sheep on a bike. And let's see, oh, sheep who are having a birthday party and a sheep that's swimming and some playing in the sandbox. A fishing sheep, some gymnastic sheep, a flying sheep, what? And a sheep with fruit on their head. But none of those sheep are green. Where is that green sheep? Let's turn the page quietly. Let's take a peep. Oh, do you think we found him? 
here is our green sheep fast asleep. Oh, he's hiding behind the bush. The end. That's such a cute little book. So now, um, if you guys really like green sheep, I'm going to show you a neat craft that you guys can make at home with stuff around your house that you can make your own green sheep hiding in the bush. Okay. So I'm going to move over here and then I'm going to put my camera down so you can see the table. There we go. That'll work. Okay. So to do this craft, actually, let me show you the craft. Silly me. So here's my bush. I decorated it with some flowers. And inside, there's the green sheep. Look how cool that is. So he can hide in the bush and he can pop out and say hi. So to make this craft, all you're gonna need is a cup, like a paper or a plastic cup, glue stick. I use a marker, some scissors. Make sure you have your grown-ups help with scissors. Um, a straw, and then depending on how you want to decorate and what color sheep you want to make. So I have some green for some grass of the bush, and I have another green for the sheep. And then if you want, I have some white. Um, you guys saw that I made some flowers. I cut that. Oh, excuse me. I cut them out of the white paper. So let me see. Is that everything that we need? I think so. Oh, and there's one more thing that you definitely need your grown-ups help with. Um, if you can't cut a little hole in the bottom of your cup with your scissors, sometimes you need a little sharp knife. Definitely have your grown-ups do this for you, okay? This, one, this part's a little bit dangerous. I already started it. But you just need to cut a little hole in the bottom of the cup, just enough so that you can get the straw to go through when you're ready. Oops. And of course, mine's not going to go. Always have your grown-up do the knife. There we go. So see, now my straw goes into my cup. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the, the, the green that you want to be the bush or the grass. We're going to put it long ways, and we're going to fold it in half long ways. So give it a fold. Make a crease. Then we're going to unfold it, and we're going to cut right along our fold. You see how our fold kind of made a line? We're going to cut right along there. And I did it in half because that fits my cup. If you have a taller cup, you may need to fold it in maybe in thirds. But you could like put your cup against the paper and measure and figure out what size of strip you need. But for me, half works really well because I like to have a little bit sticking up beyond the edge of the cup. <clears throat> okay. So we're only I'm only going to need one slip, one sheet. I have a sheep trying to escape into my grass already. He's upside down. There he is. Okay. So the next thing is if you put your strip tall, tall ways and have your scissors again, all you need to do is do lots of little cuts along the edge to make grass. You don't want to cut all the way through because you need some to glue to the cup. But if you're really careful, you can just make a whole, whole bunch and you see how then it gets all like grass so we're going to do that all the way down and like i said make sure you have your grown-ups help when you're using the scissors you only want to cut the paper nothing else so we're almost there lots of cuts making lots of grass all right so now for the grown-ups who are watching um, if you have a cup that's straight on the sides, you won't need to do this, but my cup is wider at the top than it is at the bottom. So I actually need to cut my grass into sections to be able to get it to fit around the cup because otherwise it just doesn't fit very well. I have a hard time getting it to fit. So I'm going to cut my grass into a couple of sections. You guys may have to do this. You may not. It depends on your cup. I'm probably going to do about four sections. All right, and you see I left plenty of room. You can see how far down I cut, and I left plenty of room. So now we're going to glue our grass to the cup. So all we're going to need is our glue stick. And we're going to put some glue on the grass. And we're going to 
going to take our cup and we're going to stick it on. Make sure it's good and stuck. And then you're going to take the next piece, put some glue on it. And then we're going to overlap a little bit and we're going to wrap it around. And now we have some more. And we're going to do that two more times because I have four pieces here. A little bit more glue. Put it on. And then one more. And we're going to cover up this last hole. You guys can see I've got one more hole here. I'm going to cover it up. And you kind of want to line your grass up with the bottom of the cup. Kind of works out a little bit easier that way. So then you might need to go around and because we didn't glue all the way to the edges, you might just want to stick some glue and make sure all of those edges are down because that'll help everything stay better. And don't worry, I know I have purple glue, but my purple glue dries clear so I can, I don't have to worry about being too careful with it. Okay. All right. So now there's all my grass. So now there's my bush. So now what you can do is, oops, let's put the lid back on my glue so it doesn't get all dried out. I drew my own sheep. So all I did was I just kind of drew a big fluffy shape and then I drew the sheep's face on it. You guys can do that if you're creative and you want to draw your own sheep. If you don't want to draw your own sheep, you can always find a picture of a sheep online, but to a big fluffy green sheep. I'm just going to draw a big fluffy shape. And let's see, sheep kind of have a little bit of like a triangle face. And then they have a little nose and they have eyes. And I'm sorry, I'm drawing upside down for you guys. And then they have ears and it depends on the kind of sheep is if they have long ears or short ears. This guy is going to have short ears. My other sheep has long ears. So you, got, you can do a green sheep, you could do a white sheep, you could do a pink sheep, you could do any kind of sheep you want. Probably even do a polka dotted sheep. You can decorate your sheep however you like. But there's my little sheep. So there he is. So now I'm going to cut him out. And again, make sure your grown up is there just in case if you need any help. So I'm going to quick cut my sheep out. Kind of almost looks like a cloud, doesn't he? He's so fluffy. I think I made him too fluffy. He's taking a long time to cut out. You guys can't even see me cutting him out. There we go. Almost. A couple more fluffs. And there we go. All right, so now we have our fluffy sheep. So now what we're going to do is flip them upside down. We're going to need our glue stick again. Put some glue on the back. And then now we're going to take our straw and we're going to glue our straw to the back of our sheep and give it a good little press. Probably might take a couple minutes for it to really dry and stick. But now, oops, there we go. Now we have our sheep on our stick. So now if we take our cup, and we put our, um, our straw in and we find the hole at the bottom and we get the straw through the hole in the cup. Oops, sometimes it's a little bit harder. Oh no. It's being stubborn. So close. Oh my goodness. I, have, I just made a stubborn sheep is what I did. You know what? I may need to... I don't know why it worked before and it's not working now, but I'm going to very carefully... No, that's not going to work either. And... I might have to squish my straw to get it in. Oh, there we go. I got it. Okay. So now if I pull the straw... There we go all the way down the sheep is hiding in the bush and then when you're ready he can pop up and say peekaboo so there's our sheep 
Let's hide them again. Peekaboo! So then you can, like I said, you can decorate your cup. I drew and cut out some flowers. You can draw right on your grass if you want. I did some flowers. Maybe you could do some bugs, like a butterfly or some ladybugs. Whatever you like to put on your sheep. But there he is. So now I have... I'm going to put this one back in the hole. Uh, come on. Come on. There we go. So now I have two sheep, two green sheeps. I have a green sheep running away. I have two green sheeps hiding in the bush. What do you guys think? Is that a fun craft? I think it is. I like playing hide and seek with sheep. So that's it for me for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. There we go. Go. <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you guys make some sheep hiding in the bushes on your of, of your own i think they're really fun to play with <laughs> there's a sheep sheep says bye bye we'll see you again soon bye bye